The McIntyre Research Foundation used this thing called aluminum dust samplers, which is seen where we are for time, um, in each mine to measure the concentration of the airborne aluminum dust. In 1968, so this is 25 years after they've been doing this, so they ran this program for about 36 years, 1943 to 79-80. Um, in, so 25 years after the fact, they went and did a review of these samplers and they did show that they did not accurately reflect the actual airborne aluminum dust concentration. So this is one of the quotes from the study of the person, the researcher that went in. Um, an MRF, McIntyre Research Foundation, dust index reading of 1.075 could correspond to a dust concentration by the thermal precipitator of 7,500 to 45,000 PPCCs, parts per cubic centimeter. Huge, massive difference. <laughs> they were dosing these people and they didn't know, they didn't know how much they were actually inhaling. If you stood next to, I, I've had miners tell me, if you stood next to where the condensed air was coming out, you were black. If you were this far away, you were gray. I might be able to see you in the mine, but the, the guy next to you in the row, I couldn't see him. That was that thick. That's what I'm hearing described to me. I've heard described um, in some mines that you would go in, you were supposed to stay in for 10 minutes, they'd have a guy at each end, um, and if you went out before the 10 minutes, they'd send you back in, so you'd be in for another, so maybe you went out at 6 minutes, you'd go back in, now you're 16 minutes because you're waiting for another full 10 minutes to go by. 